Time in the squared circle in the Pacific Northwest. Probably one of the most hated men ever to wrestle here. But you look at his record, give the devil his due. And the man is sensational. As far as coming out and that scream is becoming very indicative of the young Frenchman coming to the ring. Other people get lots of cheers, lots of noise, but very few screams like Rick Martel gets. The next event of the evening will be two out of three falls or to a TV time limit for the Northwest Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger in this corner at 250 pounds from Los Angeles, or Las Vegas, Playboy Buddy Rose. And flowers from a lovely for Rick Martel. His opponent and the champion in this corner at 243 pounds from France, Rick Martel. A lovely lady came up to ringside. Giving a bouquet of flowers to Rick Martel. We haven't seen that in a while. And Rose now trying to get the flowers and does. Rips them apart. This one's going to start. And Sandy Barr went over there and threw the belt down in disgust. Threw the belt down and said, ring the... D. Bell. Buddy Rose. And he does not start off as sensationally in the ring as he did outside the ring. in the ring. And the crowd yelling. I'll tell you, this rivalry has to be one of the noisiest I've ever seen. Martel defending his heavyweight championship. Sandy Barr says, go in and get him. I'll tell you, Barr is utterly disgusted. He will now get back into doing his job, that of refereeing. Uh, it was a sideline I don't think many people noticed. But when Rose pulled that crap that he did to start this thing off, Barr went over and literally just threw the belt down on the mat, saying, uh, really, this is just, it's getting a little much for him even to take. Some of the antics of Playboy Buddy Rose. Side headlock now by the young Frenchman, Rick Martel. Oh, a great hip throw. Rose tried to throw him off into the corner. He just climbed up the ropes. All the way up to the top turnbuckle. Turned over in the air. Side headlock by the bewigged and masked man known as Playboy Buddy Rose. Martell. Martell the headlock on Rose. God. These guys were among those involved at Salem last Thursday in a boxing glove match, which Rose pulled another one of his eyes to finish. Uh-oh. 
Rolled up, sunset flip, and he's able to kick out of it. Flying tackle puts Martell down again. Now he takes, rolls into the ropes. Rolls him up. Count of one is all he can get. Tied the headlock, tip throw, and are they working in there? Almost the pin with a headlock. They are really going at each other. They had the gloves on last Thursday. They're going to take those gloves off next week. Go at it in a tag team match down there in the Capitol. If anything goes, I guess that'd be called, uh, usually called a street fight when two guys do it. Because it'd be called a gang fight when you get them, four of them in there. Side headlock, Martell on Rose, Sandy Barr watching the action. Not a capacity crowd on hand, a good crowd, and I tell you, a Ricky Martell crowd, and one that uh, understands wrestling. Some of the people across the way there, but this time, as I this tape is played back, are seeing themselves. We invite you to do the same thing. Come on out, see if you get on camera. Side headlock, Martell, who makes that hold a very formidable hold. Young man with that much strength, upper body strength particularly, much in the, the nature of the same way that Snuka made those holds work so well. Flipping out of it. A roundhouse right. Oh, what a move. Rick Martell, a flying, a flying head scissors, went straight back. Arch straight back. Oh, what acrobatics he threw into that one. And just sent Rose sailing. I'll tell you, not only do we have some of the wildest wrestling that we've ever had, some of the wildest characters and some of the most talented at the same time are on the wrestling world right now. But when these guys get together in the ring, like you're seeing right now, you see some sensational grappling. Rose continues to put a leg on the ropes. And not allowing it. Sandy Barr, I'm not going to let you off. That is technically you're supposed to be outside the ring, and that's why you discontinued the wrestling. Oh! Rose trying to reverse it. Got up in the air and then was taken down. He's about three feet off the ground and driven down into the mat. I'll tell you, it is a challenge to me. For those of you who are not sighted, I try to describe these things and some of the things Martell does simply defy description. And I'm terribly sorry about that. And if I had it, I'd do the best I can. Again, trying to get the uh, headlock reversed. Rose seems to know. Once again, as it was reversed, Martell stood up and dropped them both to the mat as he tightened down on his hold. He's got the headlock on Rose. First fall action. There has have been no falls. Just two out of three to a TV time limit. And we got into it with quite a bit of time left in the show. Shouldn't have any problem with, uh, with the time on it. They're going to go at each other. And we tried like everything to give them plenty of time to work on it. Rick Martell defending his heavyweight championship. The sheep herders in a controversial, a still another controversial match, won back the tag team titles last week. Rose says the Army needs to have all the titles. 
have the tag team. He wants to get that heavyweight championship back. Martel is not going to give it to him easily. And to the ropes, thrown off, line tackle. Don goes Rose. Oh, he went for the drop kick. Oh, he is thrown. He was catapulted into the top turnbuckle. Rose. Now. Uh-oh. Suplex drop. Rick Martell went up the rope, wanted to come off with a hip throw. And he missed it. Rose got him back with a suplex drop. Rose coming up from behind him. Small in the back, right where he landed. That's where he hits him with a double club blow. Now the whip, hard into the corner. The whip coming out, shoulder throw. Martell up high in the air, down hard again. Body press, one, two, and no. Martell will not be put away. Small to the back by Rose. Puts him into the ropes. And then a knee lift to the small of the back. Forearm smash. Been working on that back. Buddy Rose takes Martell for the whip. Now going outside the ring up on the top rope. What's he going to do with him from here? Oh, he rides him down with the knee. The knee right between the shoulder blades and rode him down into the mat. From all the way up that top rope. Martell taking his punishment now. And you know that he wants to give him all he can in this first fall. Inside out, Billy Robinson, backbreaker, and the first fall nearly for sure. One, two, and three. Rose takes it. He got some punishment on him, but when he could put him away, he did. And did so with the inside out Billy Robinson back breaker. Hope you have a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil handy. As once again, we're going to run down the towns for you and what's happening. And there's a lot of uh, stuff happening all over the Pacific Northwest. So you, uh, as you look at this week's, we'll be going ahead into next week's a little bit too and give you the.